Hello, my name is Lewis, and welcome to Gathering the Magic. You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Nat, this is me, Master Steve, checking in, and today we're opening a Caltime booster box. Let's get this off and see what's inside. Very, very excited about this set. I saw it spoiled with all the cool metal paraphernalia and like Celtic art. So, so good. Let's get these out of here. One, two, three. Chuck this box away. So, this is actually my second box that I've opened of these, and I actually had a pretty good set of pulls yesterday. And I'll show you the pièce de résistance from that when I uh, get to the end of the video. So let's get through all these commons. Still pretty cool. I like all of the snow creatures, artifacts and lands. <coughs> Apologise for the coffin. Ooh, ah, so throw back to Lewis. Ooh, we've got an Orvar, the all form. A little shapeshifter. It's cool. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents you control, create a to token that's a copy of one of those permanents. Wicked. Right, so I'm going to have a pile for Mythics over here. It's cool land. And one of the new Fortel mechanic tokens, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, I've been trying out an Azorius control deck on Arena and... It is fun, foretelling those cards and they don't know what's coming. So get through all these, Grizzled Outrider. These sagas are cool as well. Arnie slays the troll. Not Arnie. Uh, we have Ophelia, Judge of Valor. One of those cast your second spell cards. Excellent. Giant's Amulet. And the rare is Cyclone Summoner. Which is cool if you're running a giant wizard tribal deck. Stick him there. And another Snowland. It's a shame these come in tapped, but they are really, really good. I'm also going to make a pile for shinies over here. We've got the Immersterm Raider. Woo! On to pack number three. So, this is my first time doing these videos. YouTube Master Lewis has asked me to open the box, see if I can show you guys what I've got. You're the master! This is a good card in Draft Unlimited. Little cantrip. Pretty good. Um, so let's see what we get. Bretagard Stronghold. Nico defies Destiny. Marit of the Frost, another shapeshifter. Very, very cool. Or Simic one this time. And the rare is another Cyclone Summer. What? Lame. And then another Snow Colored Forest. And like I said, this, this set has really, really interested me since they spoiled it. And how they had all the metal bands releasing all the cards. I thought that was really, really cool. I like this direction that magic is going. So we'll get through all the Chaff here, Rune of Flight. The runes are also quite good in Limited. Ooh, for you, Lewis. Egon, God of Death. It's a three cost six six with Death Touch, which is pretty goddamn cool. And it's a modal double face card. It's got the Throne of Death on the other side. Stick in here. Let's keep going. Probably see in the background as well, I've got the. Um, Two new commander decks that come out with the sets. Very, very excited to play the Fortel one. My uh, wife will be picking up the Elves deck and she'll probably beat me because she's way better than I am. So going through these two, it's Shadow, Harold, King of Skemfar, and Rally the Ranks as a rare. Not particularly excited about that one to be honest. And a Sulphurus Myers Land and a Shiny Giant Ox. Woo! Giant Ox and pl Colossal Plough combo. Amazing. So 
So I'm also wondering if any of you have noticed that you've got someone who is opening packs and their wrists and hands are quite normal, unlike Lewis. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis. Wow, this alternate art is so cool. Narfi Betrayer King, legendary snow creature zombie wizard. That is awesome. I might have to build a deck around that. So, mythics, rares, shinies, alternate arts. And a snow line as well. Is there a snow line in every pack? Do I keep highlighting the fact that there's a snow line when there's one in every pack? Right, quick through these. Mammoth growth. Raven form. That's a cool foretell card as well. Turn them into a 1 1 bird. Shimmer Drift Veil. Good for fixing your mana. This is an awesome card in limited as well. Frostbeat Yeti. Make it unblockable. So we get to the Shepherd of the Cosmos. Ooh, foretell. Uh, glorious Protector. Excellent in a blink deck. So you can protect all of your creatures, bring them back. And if you're running something like Yorian, you can blink them all again and get all the extra effects from them, which is really, really good. So I said, it's my first time doing one of these videos, so I hope I'm not rambling. Chatting absolute nonsense. I'm also trying very hard not to swear. So I apologise if profanities come out of my mouth. Open the Omen Path, Skates of Istvel, Inga Rune Eyes. That's cool. Spirit of the Older Guard. Blood on the Snow. Cool board wipe. Look at that dude. He's not having a good time. Reminds me of Ace Ventura. <laughs> Gotta laugh at your own jokes. So we're about a third of the way through now. Let's start going through these quite quick. I'm not particularly interested in the commons or the uncommons, but Replicating Ring is a fun one. Put that in a commander deck. Oh my god. We've got a Vorinclex. Amazing. This is like the most expensive card in the set. <laughs> and it's insane. I saw the professor put together a kill on site deck where he talked about making a super friends Vorinclex deck. So all your planeswalkers come in with double counters and you can ultimate them immediately, which sounds ridiculous. I'm not sure how I feel about Vorinclex being in this set. Like it seems a bit easy, like a bit of a, you know, we could put Vorinclex in and everyone will love it. Doesn't matter about the rest of it, but I am very glad he's here. That is wicked. Stick him over here with the Mythics. Oh, Vorinclex. That's actually the um, second wall I've pulled. I'll let you into a sneak peek here. This Phyrexian text version, which I pulled in a box yesterday, which I did not film. What a shame, but that's incredible. Put that in a binder, keep it away. Not trading that with anyone. Right, let's go back through these packs. Giant Ox again, what a fan. I like the new Giant Tribal as well. So this saga is pretty good with that. We've got Redain, God of the Worthy. Another God, dual face card, Flying Vigilance, Snowlands your opponent's control, into the battlefield tapped. And with everyone being hyped about Kaldheim decking out their decks with Snowlands, it's probably be pretty good. And this is really annoying in a mono white aggro deck. Just remove one damage from you so you survive a lot longer. Wicked. So, for those who don't know who I am, check out our Instagram page and I promote all of the YouTube videos and make daily. Well, I say daily, it's rare that I miss a day, but not every day. Um, memes about Magic the Gathering. I uh, like to think I'm funny. Hopefully other people do it as well. Cole, the Forge Master. Look, that is an awesome look at that sword. Amazing. And Dream Devourer is the rare. So this is pretty cool. It turns all of your non foretell cards into foretell cards. So it's a kind of ramp in black, which is nice to see. Yeah, as I was saying, go check out the Instagram. See if you like my memes. Hopefully they make other people laugh as well as myself. 
So you've got to laugh at your own jokes. All right, quickly go through these. Some more sagas. Ooh, little owly bird. Look at him with his three eyes. Amazing. Vega, the Watcher. And we've got Cosmos Charger as the rare. Flying flashy horse for Fortel. Helps you run Fortel costs be cheaper, which is nice. <coughs> Apologies for the coughing. I don't have COVID. But just have a bit of an annoying cough. Right, let's shoot through these. Really, really like all these artworks. I like the Viking theme with the vehicles as well. Being on a big long boat. Ooh, Glimpse Cosmos Gold. We've got Sigrid, God Favoured as the rare. It's first strike protection of God creatures. When it ends the battlefield, exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until Sigrid leaves the battlefield. Again, quite annoying in a mono white deck. And Ice Tunnels Land. And a shiny Doomscar Oracle. Nice. Stick in with the Giant Ox. Giant Ox is obviously the best shiny in the set. Just a shame they didn't do the uh, alternate artwork for the Giant Ox. I would have been well into that. Let's go through these. Slow Valkyrie, Frostbite Arcanist. Wow. Agar, the Freezing Flame. Another cool Is It Giant Commander. Which go very, very well with the saga we spoke about earlier. Stick that up there. An Ascendant Spirit as the rare. I'm not sure what to think about this card. Obviously it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and it gets bigger and better. But I think it just will die too quickly to actually be any good. But have to play test it, see how it goes. And a shiny Disdainful Stroke. Which is... Again, not sure it's great having the limitation on the cost four or greater for the counter spell. It's one of these to hide your dual face cards. Let's quickly go through these. Oh, Battlefield Raptor as well. Excellent and blue white flying deck. Binding the Old Gods is a fantastic saga. Destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Wicked. And then it ramps you afterwards. Hand gives all your creatures death touch. What more can you ask for? Another Cosmos Charger, but I spy an alternate art there. No. It is a shiny Cosima God of the Voyage, though. Awesome. Look at that. And then on the other side, we've got the Omen Gheel as the vehicle. Freaking awesome. Now, does that go in the rare pile or the shiny pile? Stick it in the shiny pile. Treasure token. So if you've managed to get this far through the video, you should probably like and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more of these coming. I know Lewis has got a Kaldheim Collector's Booster Box to open, which I imagine all these alternate arts is going to look absolutely incredible. So another Thirya, God of Valor. Oh! <coughs> Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. So when I saw this, I was spoiled. I was like, oh my god. It's Vampiric Tutor on a stick with that boast ability. Uh, again, it might die before you actually get to use it, but that would make a cool commander. I did try fitting it into the Rogue's deck in the standard, but it wasn't particularly great. It's a little bit too slow. That'd be awesome as a casual black commander. Stick you over here. Ooh. Alternate art or rare pile? Alternate art pile is better. Gotta say, got some good pulls so far. Fly through these. Undersea Invader. Sirtland Frostpire. Weird. Ah, another excellent rare card, Bergy, God of Storytelling. So I'm quite looking forward to building this as a Storm Commander. And I also think it might slot well into a Zarda deck that I built. So very, very happy to see that. Stick that here. I wonder if that's got a rare alternate art version, that'd be cool. 
Oh, forgot to say, on the other side, you've got Harn Bell, Horn of Bounty, which I don't think is too amazing, helps you get through your deck a little bit quicker. But the other side is way, way better. Let's get through these. <coughs> I'm well aware that I keep saying get through these. Oh, rare for this land is a dual land. We've got the Blight State pathway. And as I say, you've got the Seer Step pathway. These are basically auto includes in any commander deck, fixing your mana. No downside at all. Oop. Having a little trouble opening this one. Wonder what's in here that doesn't want to come out. So we've got Maya, Bretagard Protector, and in the rare slot we've got a Righteous Valkyrie. Whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Wonder if my wife is going to put this in her Avacyn deck. Loves them angels. It's a very scary deck, by the way. Basically, everything gets indestructible and life link and is unstoppable. It's hard to get going, but horrendous when, when it starts. Scoot through these. Another Marita the Frost. I like this shapeshifter stuff. I'm going to start putting um, shapeshifters into my Muldrother deck so I can have more than one Muldrother. So I can bring more than one of each permanent back from the graveyard each time. I think that'll be really, really fun. Got Finn the Fangbearer. Our friend Painy will definitely be building this as a commander. He gets a lot of stick for playing Infect, but this is an Infect. It's poison. Uh, oh. <laughs> I always make fun of Lewis for saying, ooh, but it's really difficult to not do. Starnheim Unleashed as a Mythic, another foretell card which creates you a bunch of 4 4 angel warriors with vigilance. How cool is that? There's something else in here as well. We've got Cole, the Forge Master, in shiny. Can you see that? Shiny alternate heart. That is super cool. Put that over here. Shiny? Alternate hearts better than shiny. Sorry, I'll keep pulling things off screen when there's no need to whatsoever. Masked Vandal, Opium Pass, French Raider, another Saga, Glitter Jar, and Mirror Lake. And we've got Rise of the Dreadman as the rare, which is another awesome card in a mono black deck. Great X2-2 Black Zombie Berserker Creature Tokens, where X is the number of non-token creatures that die this turn. So you could board wipe, then play this, and then have a load of Zombie Berserkers on your side. Sounds like fun. And then a shi shiny snow-covered island. Awesome. I'm just going to tidy these piles for a second. There's way too much going on here. There's shinies. Alternate arts and mythics. Right, cracking on. Demonic gifts. This is another very annoying card in Limited. Very, very impossible to stop if they've got snow lands. Another saga, Valkyrie sword. Another mythic, we've got a Burning Rune Demon. When it's the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not named Burning Rune Demon that have different names. If you do reveal those cards, an opponent chooses one of them, put that into your hand and the others into your graveyard and then shuffle your library. Mm, it's a good way of... It's like another emergent ultimatum, kind of. Stick that with the mythics. And put this over here. A lot of these cards, I'm not sure what they do. Um, still just getting into Cal, Cal Time on standard. Um, very much set in my ways and still playing the decks I was before. So Ascent of the Worthy is the Saga. Got Skemfar Avenger as the rare. With another non-token Elf or Berserker you control that as you draw a card and you lose all life. I'd imagine that's in this 
elf deck. And if it's not, I'll be putting it in there. Oh, camera's going a bit wild there. I wonder if that's been doing it the whole time. Lewis, edit this bit out. The Long Boat, Mast Vandal, Frosty Yeti, Spectral Steel, Turgrid's Shadow. I really want to pull an actual Turgid God of Fright. It sounds like a horrendous commander to play against, so obviously I want one. Got Narfi, Betrayer King, and Doom Scar as the rare. Excellent foretell board wipe. Want to destroy the board for three mana on turn three? Go ahead. Amazing. So we've got, the artwork on these cards is just so cool. It's really, really good. A big vigilant cat. What a good boy. Vengeful Reaper, Giant Samuel. And for the rare, we've got Dragon Kin Berserker. Excellent in a red deck. You boast, you create a dragon. Do that on every turn. How good is that? And then Rhyme Wood Falls as the land. So we've got eight more packs to pack after this, I think. Let's see if we can get something else good. Another Vorinclex, maybe a Valky, Goldspin Dragon, a Seeker God of the Tree. That would be good. That would be amazing. I didn't get in a Seeker in my other box yesterday either, so that would be really, really good. Crush the Weak. Realm Walker as the rare. Another Changeling. I really do like the Changeling um, creature type. It's very, very cool. And it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. And cast creature spells off chosen type from the top of your library. So excellent in a tribal deck. One I do really want to see is, um, like I said, Turgrid God of Fight, but also Coma, the Cosmos Serpent, which is an absolute monster. Creating all those tokens on everyone's turn is going to get out of hand soon. I don't know if anyone's seen the new Game Nights with Hawk from Cobra Kai. Certainly shows how powerful that card is. Um, it's the enchantment. We've got Rune Forge Champion as the rare. Then the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a rune card. Reel it and put it into your hand. Not sure how good that is. To be honest, don't know there are many rune cards apart from what's in Cal time. Really try it. This has every time the artwork for this changes, it looks really, really cool. Let's go through these Grim Dragon, Snow Berserker. Ooh, <laughs> done it again. Got Harald, King of Skemfar, in that alternate art. How amazing is that? Just the, the borders and the edging is awesome. So cool. Got another Coal, it's an uncommon. And then another. Rampy Fortel Dream Devourer for the rare. Let's put that over here. So we're nearly there, folks. Got about another seven packs to open after this. I think I was wrong when I said ten before. Did I even say ten before? Did I say it in my head? Don't know. Here we go. Colossal Plough. Stick that with the Giant Ox. Hope we get a shiny one. Ascendant Spirit as the rare. Again, not sure how I feel about that. And there's something else in here as well. Oh, my. <laughs> we've got a shiny colossal plow. Wicked. I'm going to stick that with the ox. Look at that for a combo. Amazing. That's it. Lewis always does that. He always says, oh, I wish I had this card. I'm going to pull it and then next thing you know, there it is coming out of the pack like they know. I so, saw, what's this? A Savella Ice Shaper. That's some crazy artwork on there. What the hell is going on there? So troll. Create a colour snow artifact token named Icely Manolith with add one mana of any colour. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may cast a spell from among them without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So that second ability is way better than the first one. Awesome. Ooh, what's that back there? It's got the Great Horn of Stoltheim. 
called Yawn, God of Vinti. Those are rare. So it's another dual face card. So when it attacks, untap each snow permanent you control. So it's like Wilderness Reclamation on a Commander. Amazing. And then you've got Caldering the Rhyme Staff on the back. You may play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. That is really cool. And a shiny search for glory. Ooh, don't know where I'm going over there. Awesome. You're not as good as a colossal plow in the auction. You can get on the bottom of the pile. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not. Sorry, not sorry. So, let's see what we get in this. Still waiting on Tur Turgrid and Valky. Really, really want a Valky. That would be so cool. Got a Cadder Doom Scourge. Looks like an awesome commander to build around. Graven Law as the rare. So Scry X, where X is your amount of snow mana spell to cast this spell, then draw three cards. It's pretty cool. You could have a Scry 5, draw three for five. Not too bad. Down to the last five. I'm definitely wrong my numbers before when I was saying there's this many left. I haven't got a clue, have I? Get through these with a crown, weathered runestone, dwarven hammer, a non shiny search for glory. Brilliant. Oh, and a shiny mist walker. Awesome. Another one of those changelings. Again, not as good as Plough of the Ox. So you're going on the bottom of the pile. Funeral Longboat, Little Helmet, Run Ashore, Another Saga, Spirit of the Alderman, Furger's Retribution as our rare, so this is a pretty cool saga as well. So you create angels and then you can use them to destroy things and then they gain double strike. Awesome. Sulphurous Mire, that's the land. Oh my god, what's going on here? And a fearless liberator as the shiny. Not particularly great. So again, bottom of the pile for you. I've got three packs. Or a gold span, a seeker, a valkyrie, a turgrid, and a coma. Not sure I can get those in three packs, but let's see what happens, eh? Stranger things have happened. I don't know if anyone's seen the video about the god boxes where every rare is a god. Don't know how wizards put that together but that's incredible if someone gets one of those are oh, rare for this we've got a seeker nice a seeker god of the tree vigilance add one manner of any color other legendary creatures you control have vigilance and add one manner of any color awesome then on the other side we've got the prismatic bridge At the beginning of your upkeep your cards from the top of your library until they reveal a creature or planeswalker card put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order so cool. Look at that awesome art. Go on, a seeker. Last two packs. Come on, Tegrid, Coma, Valky. Show me what you got. Get through these quickly. Path to the Well Tree, Avalanche Caller, Port of Carvel, and we've got Icebreaker Kraken as the rare. So it costs one less to cast for each snow land you control. So imagine this, bring this out for two blue mana for an 8-8. Eight, eight. When it enters the battlefield, artifacts and creatures target opponent control don't untap during that player's next untap step. And it's got its own protection in returning three snow lands you control to the hand. Awesome. Let's do that with the rares. Last pack. What are we going to get? Come on. Valky. Best card in the set. It's not quite prickly mama, is it? But it's pretty cool. Vega. Also awesome. Shepherd of the Cosmos. Whoa! Full art. Nico Aris. Planeswalker. Insane. Have to sleeve that up pretty soon. That is wicked. So 
stick that up there. Right, let's go through what we pulled. So we've got Nico, Seeker, Burning Room Demon, Starheim Unleashed, Vorinclex, and Orvar the Allform. Six Mythics in one pack, it's pretty good for me. Then what did we get in the alternate hearts? Svela, Harald, Kol, Varagoth, Agar, Vega, and Narfi. Wicked. And of course, the two best cards in the set, Ginox and Colossal Plow. How good is that? So, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you turning up to me, Master Steve's first video. Um, not sure if I should sign off the same way as Lewis does, uh, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it. So, thank you all for watching. Um, for now, I'm all tapped out, and I'll see you in the next video.